Welcome to another Hack the Box quick guide featuring Nibbles this time. Now, Nmap scan, pretty simple. We'll go to port 80 here, and we see just a Hello World page, but if we view the page source, we'll see a comment referring to Nibble blog directory. So if we go there, we'll see this page. Now, we want to get a GoBuster scan running in the background, uh, but we need to know what extension to pass it. Uh, so if we do a basic Google search on Nibble blog, We'll see a reference to, you know, you need PHP for it to work. So that's a little hint there that uh, you should be using PHP as the extension. So we pass that in and let this thing run. And pretty much instantly we'll find this admin.php page, which is a pretty good place to start. So let's go there. And upon doing so, we see this login here. We're going to try the standard admin password. Admin admin would be good as well. But uh, you could either do this with a word list or you could just guess that the login is admin nibbles. So that will log us in as admin. And we want to see if there's any known vulnerabilities for this nibble blog uh, technology here. So we can use search exploit to do that. And we see this right here. But it calls out specifically version 403. We, want, we need to verify what version we're running. Going into settings, looking at the bottom, there's a version section that confirms that. So this will be vulnerable to that. So we're going to fire up Metasploit. Now, if we wanted to do this the manual way, we would need to, in this case, actually look on GitHub or go out there on the open internet and try to find an exploit. you got to be careful when you do this. But in this case, we're just going to use Metasploit as this is a quick guide. We're going to need to specifically set a few parameters here, like the target URI in this case is slash nibble blog and of course we have to pass it the credentials so username admin and password nibbles basically the credentials that we need to log into the uh, nibble blog as admin and then we can pretty much exploit and uh, it will come back with a shell so get uid see who we are we are nibbler so we're still a basic user we need to elevate our privileges so if we drop into a shell what we can do is run a sudo minus l. This is always a great place to start on any Linux system. And we see, hey, there's this monitor.sh. This is not a standard Linux file and we have uh, no password root access to it. So let's take a look. There's a personal.zip. So we unzip it uh, in this directory here. And that's where this file is actually located. So we can go and check out this monitor.sh, see what it's doing, see what permissions we have on it as well. That's the first thing that I'm going to do. And we see we have full access to this. We are the owner of the file, but even if we weren't, we have read, write, execute. Everyone does. It's world read, write, and executable. So uh, let's just, out of curiosity, let's see what's in here. There's a bunch of junk in here. It doesn't really matter what's in here, right? Because we have write access to the file. So we could just change the file to say, hey, spawn a shell for us. And if we run that with sudo, we can spawn a root shell. So we're going to do exactly that. But first off, we're going to copy this just as a way to back it up um, in case something goes wrong. Little optional step there. And now we're going to echo in whatever uh, payload we want into this file. So first, we're going to start a listener port 1234. And we're going to use this standard uh, bit of code here to spawn a shell for us, connect to our listener. So once we run this with sudo, we will spawn it as a root shell. And all right, now we go down here. Who am I? And we have now rooted the box.